The Commonwealth Games is one of the biggest events on the calendar for many of the pro triathletes and we're just moments away from the 2018 Games over on the Gold Coast in Australia. But you may be wondering what it's all about, what's involved and who is racing. Well here is everything you need to know about the Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games is an international multi-sport event involving athletes from the Commonwealth of Nations, essentially a collection of countries and nations that are linked in some way to Great Britain. And it takes part every four years sandwiched between the Summer Olympic Games. And the first official Commonwealth Games took place in 1930 in Hamilton, Canada, when they were called the British Empire Games. And then fast forward to 2018, and the Games will be taking place on the Gold Coast in Australia between the 4th and 15th of April, where there'll be over 6,600 athletes and officials from over 70 nations taking part in 18 different sports and seven para sports. So triathlon officially joined the Commonwealth Games in 2002 at the Manchester Games in England, and it's since appeared in three other games, with 2010 being an exception due to the water quality at the Delhi Games. And previously, athletes have competed over the Olympic or standard distance, but for the first time ever, athletes are going to be competing over the fast and furious sprint distance with a 750 meter swim, a 20 kilometer bike, a five kilometer run, making it Really exciting to watch, but also it's going to allow the athletes a little more time to recover before the mixed team relays two days later. Another first for these games is the debut of paratriathlon. We have the men and women of the PTWC category battling it out for the first ever Commonwealth title. Now in this category, they use a recumbent hand cycle on the bike course and then a wheelchair on the run course. And with the addition of events like this, it gives the 2018 Commonwealth Games the largest parasport program with up to 300 para-athletes and 38 medal events. On Thursday the 5th of April, the men and women will be setting off from the Southport Broadwater Parklands on the Gold Coast, with the women having the honour of being the first medal of the Commonwealth Games. Now they're going to be racing over a one lap non-wetsuit swim course, which they've got a few currents to deal with, and then onto the bike course, they've got a technical four lap course, making it very spectator friendly, before hitting a flat and fast two lap run course. And the women's event is going to be kicking it off at 9.30 a.m. local time and then the men's event at 1 p.m. And then two days later on Saturday the 7th of April we have the para triathlon event at 9.30 a.m. and then the mixed team relay at 1 p.m. Now it's going to be a tough one to make any predictions on, particularly given the sprint distance format and that we have four of the six Olympic Games medalists from Rio on the start list. But did you know that at all three of the previous Commonwealth Games triathlon events, a single country has taken the win in both the men and the women's events. In 2002, it was Canada's year with Carol Montgomery and Simon Whitfield taking the honours. And then in 2006, it was Australia with Emma Snowsill and Brad Carterfell. And then in 2014, it was Team England with Jodie Stimson and Alistair Brownlee. Now for the mixed team relay, and this was first introduced to the Commonwealth Games in 2014 in Scotland. Teams comprise of two men and two women, racing over a much shorter course. This year it's over a one lap 250 metre swim, a two lap seven kilometre bike, and then a one lap one and a half kilometre run. And typically this event lasts anywhere between 60 minutes and 90 minutes, depending on the course, with athletes each completing a mini triathlon before tagging and passing over to their teammates. The debut at the 2014 Games was won by Team England, but what actually makes this event so exciting is that it takes far more than just one successful athlete. Actually, a team of lesser known athletes could collectively be quite a force and very successful. Well, it's almost time and it's going to be the first Major Games Triathlon Championship event held over the sprint distance. It's a big move, but I reckon it's going to make the races even closer and even more exciting. So make sure you tune in. If you haven't done so already, click on the globe and subscribe. And to find out what all these different race distances mean and all the other funny words used in the triathlon world, you can see our triathlon jargon buster video by clicking down here. And to see our unwritten rules of triathlon video, just click down here.